Hello, Montwood. This is Coach Fonaligi here with a special edition of our Student Athletes of the Week. Today, I'm joined by three of our fantastic wrestlers from our Montwood wrestling team, Esther Walker, Terius Henry, and Cassie Falela. They are fresh off of their um, trip to the state, for, uh, state tournament and uh, where they all picked up some tremendous honors for our school. So uh, let me ask you all, starting with you, Esther, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Esther was a 95-pound state champion and um, you know she's the only our third state champion in school history, from my understanding. And so, is that second state state champion from our school history? And so, uh, Esther, what's it feel like to be a state champion? I mean, is it everything you expected it to be? It's even more amazing. It's like such a great like feeling of accomplishment, and I'm really glad to be able to represent not just like me, but my community and my school and the Montwood wrestling program because. It's something that we all work very hard in. Well, Montwood is certainly proud of you for, for your accomplishments. And, um, you know, I can say personally speaking that it was, it was a blast watching you wrestle, you know, the, the times that I did get to see yeah. you on the mat. You're, you're, uh, you're very aggressive. <laughs> Thank That's you. For sure. Uh, Terius. Um, Terius was our, uh, he was our state champion uh, last year uh, as a junior. This year he, he brought back uh, state runner-up honors. And so, Terius, you know, being one of the most decorated athletes in school history, man, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment in itself. As you reflect back on your career, your wrestling career, what are some of the things that you're most proud of? I think the most proud thing that, the most thing, I, the thing I'm most proud of was just of everyone, like the whole team. Um, just watching everyone improve over the course of the four years and just like, go from getting our butts kicked to kicking everyone's butt. And it's just like, it's a cool feeling to just watch everyone evolve. Right, well, I mean, certainly uh, watching you guys develop, you know, has been uh, a, a, quite a journey. Um, watching you guys from, from the time you were, you know, sophomore, freshman, sophomores, and then growing into the, the butt kickers, as you say that you are, uh, has, been, has been a great ride. So, um, you know, congratulations on all of your accomplishments, as I mentioned. You're probably the most decorated athlete to ever come out of Montwood High School, and that's certainly saying something because we've had some tremendous athletes, as you know, um, walk through our halls. So congratulations on a great career, um, and, and we're, we're just amazing. Uh, very proud of you and excited to see what uh, the future holds for you. Uh, Cassie, Cassie Favela, um, as a junior, you, uh, I know, as a junior, you qualified or you made it to the state tournament as an alternate. Um, this year, as a senior, you uh, were able to get up there and take sixth place at the tournament. Um, what are some of the, what, what are some of the things you credit with, you know, the improvement that you made? Um, I think I pushed myself way harder than I did last year. I pushed my partner as well. Um, I guess I was I was way more hungry for it than last year, and that's what like got me through it. Right. Well, you can certainly tell the effort that you put into improving from one year to another because watching, you know, I was telling Esther that I, saw, I thought she was aggressive, but uh, I, I'd see you throwing girls around all the time. So I know that, you know, the effort and the intensity was there anytime you hit the mat as well. So congratulations on, on, on your uh, amazing accomplishment for your senior year and, uh, and for your overall careers. And uh, let me ask you again, though, Cassie, if we're talking to kids uh, or students out there that may be thinking about um, joining wrestling, um, maybe thinking about coming out and trying out, what are some of the qualities that uh, a, a, a wrestler should possess? Um. Should we, should they be, I mean, do we gotta, does a wrestler, does a person have to be tough to, to be, to join wrestling? No. To be a good wrestler? You just need to like, You just need to, like, you, you don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to be strong. You just need to learn the technique and, like, you just need to know how to wrestle. Like, I don't know how to explain Like, you have to be willing to learn. Yeah. To be willing. willing to learn. That's, that's, the big, that's a big thing for sure because you have to take coaching and criticism and internalize all that and, and put it out there, right? Good. Right. No, so uh, definitely. Uh, Terius, what, what's something that makes uh, – Wrestling different than, than, than any other sport. What's unique about the sport of wrestling? Mm, 
definitely that the fact that it's just you and your opponent on the mat and that even though you train together with your team and even though that you train together with your team when it comes time to competition it's just you like by yourself like there's no timeouts there's no there's no like replace there's no calling someone else in to replace your spot like it's just you mm -hmm. you have to start the match you have to and you have to finish the match so it's all on it's all on your shoulders right whether you win or lose succeed fail it's all on you yeah. right and that's 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 certainly unique cuz in most uh, other sports you're depending on on, on teammates and, and th that kind of thing so certainly Esther wh what is it that uh, you find most rewarding about being a wrestler most rewarding um, it's definitely all the life lessons that we take out of it because it's not just about getting in shape or being able to make weight it's more about being there mentally which prepares you for life it teaches you how to um, always be on time always be um, willing to learn how we said before willing to take in um, some, like, how do you say it, like, uh, what's the word? Criticism. Like, yeah, constructive criticism go, from, right. from, like, your coaches and mm -hmm. your teammates because we're going to fail before we're able to be able to... Be good. Yeah, be good. <laughs> yeah. So before anything, we need to, it's important to learn that we're always going to fall in order to be able to get back up. That's a that's a very important lesson. I, and, um, you know, when you start off in the in wrestling, you're, you're going to take some bumps and you're going to take some losses, exactly. you know, early on. But it's all about fighting through and getting, you know, getting to that next level, right? Exactly. Um, okay, so we're back. UIL's over, right? We have a freestyle season to look forward to, right? Are we all participating in that? Are we all going after? We're all doing nationals, right? Tell us a little bit, Terrius. Tell us a little bit about nationals. Um, where, where's that tournament? You know, what's that like? Is it different from the state tournament? Um, well, there's two different types of nationals. There's one for the guys and the girls. Okay. Um, the girls are going to OCU this month, and then the guys go to Las Vegas for the U.S. Open in April. And um, it's a lot different from the state tournament. It's bigger because that's, like, an opportunity to get looked at by colleges okay. and then advance to, like, the senior, like, to the world team for Team USA and then, like, the Olympics possibly. It's just, it's a bigger tournament. Like, there's more, there's more at stake. It's a fun one, too. Well, good luck to all, all three of you in, in that, uh, in the national tournament. And then, of course, in your freestyle season that's co to come. Uh, lastly, what are our future plans? Cassie, what's our future, what are our future plans um, for college and be or, or, or the next level and beyond? For my future plans, I want to wrestle in college. Um, it's freestyle, so it's... It's different than what we do, but I like freestyle okay. too, so it's not a problem. But I want I, I want to wrestle at Colorado, and well, they've called me already, and All right. so I think I'm gonna go to Colorado. Excellent, Colorado! Look at that, uh, you, Colorado! You're getting a, an outstanding, tough wrestler right there. Uh, Terius, wh what are you thinking? What's a, what's in store for you in the future? Um, same thing as Cassie, kind of looking around to see what college to wrestle at. Um, I really want to go to Lindenwood, so I'll probably end up going there. And it's folk style, different from the girls' college. So, yeah. That, that's your specialty, right? Yeah. Folk style? Good, man. Well, well, best of luck to you as well. Thank you. And, uh, and, and Esther, as a state champ, I imagine you have some options available to you, huh? What, what are um, you thinking about? Yeah, I've gotten several offers, but same as Cassie, I'm looking at Colorado Mesa University. Um, we went to a camp there last summer, and we were able to visit the campus and look at their wrestling program. And it was something really amazing that I really want to pursue doing. And if not, I really want to just stay here with my family and start studying architecture or maybe look into other, other careers. Well, that, those are certainly great plans that you all have. Uh, as outstanding wrestlers, you know, I... I Selfishly hope that you guys continue your athletic careers in college and, and we get to hear about all the great things that you're doing out there because we know that you're going to do outstanding things. So best of luck to you in your upcoming tournaments. And Well, Cassie Favela, Terrius Henry, and Esther Walker, thank you all very much for joining us. Montwood, thank you for joining us for the special edition of Student Athletes of the Week. Um, we'll see you next time. Go Rams.